Hey, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So a while ago I made a video called If Board Games Were Like Sports Games and I was playing a game called Sorted Out, which was made by my parents. And since self-isolation and quarantine, I feel like a lot of people are heading towards board games. So today I'm gonna play a few rounds of Sorted Out and I'm going to try and put some things in order. Now, because my parents made the game, I actually had the opportunity to get them to send me some personalized questions that are about, I believe, myself or my YouTube channel. And then they also sent me some questions from the game. Usually the questions come on little cards like this where it has the question on the front and then the answers on the back and then you match up your little paddle to see how you went. But because they're personalized questions, I actually have them on my computer so I'm going to be playing it virtually. I have no idea what the questions are that they sent me so... Good luck to me, I guess. <laughs> so I've got the questions here, sorted out the Katie Diaries edition and um... Let's just start sorting. Yes, it is a musical themed one. Watch out everyone. Okay, sort these Hamilton musical facts by how many there are most to least. Okay, right, yikes. Oh my god, don't come after me if I get these wrong. Okay, the weeks Hamilton played in Puerto Rico in 2019, Tony nominations received in 2016, Olivier Awards won in 2018, Hamilton children featured in the musical or musical numbers in the show. Big yikes, all right. I was gonna say there's only one child in the show, which is just Philip. But is Dear Theodosia, like, is that counting a child as well? I don't know, but I'm gonna maybe put that at the bottom. I'm gonna say there's the least amount of children. And I think musical numbers is probably gonna be at the top. It w got a lot of Tony nominations. I'm gonna put that second. Oh, um, I don't know if it played in Puerto Rico for very long, so I'm gonna put that as four. And then I guess Olivier Awards as third. So that's what I've got here. Let's check the answers. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. I'm very impressed actually because it was really just a guess. I just went for I know that that one's the most, I know that that's the least, so let's just put the rest in the middle. Maybe I'm too obsessed. Sort these musicals by the year they opened on Broadway. The Book of Mormon, Chicago, Mamma Mia, Wicked, and The Phantom of the Opera. Okay, well, Phantom's been around for a while, so we're gonna put that as first. I think Book of Mormon is probably the most recent one in that list. And then I'm gonna say, oh, Chicago. So I decided to go with Phantom of the Opera, Chicago, Mamma Mia, Wicked, and then Book of Mormon. <sighs> I've never done these questions before. I'm quite impressed with myself. Wow, love this. <laughs> All right, next card. Sort these things by how many there are or were. So least to most. Okay, Wives of Henry VIII, six, we know that one. Founders of WhatsApp, Oscars won by Bohemian Rhapsody in 2019. Seasons of Friends, Amy Winehouse music videos. Okay, this one could be my downfall. I know that there are six Wives of the Henry VIII and there's 10 seasons of Friends. I don't know how many Amy Winehouse music videos there are. What if she has like 11? Okay, I'll put her at the bottom as the most. Seasons of Friends, 10. Oscars won by Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm gonna put that as the third. Did they win six, seven? Five? Wives of Henry VIII, six. Founders of WhatsApp. This is the most I've ever guessed in my whole life. So what I've decided to go with from least to most is Founders of WhatsApp, then Wives of Henry VIII, Oscars won by Bohemian Rhapsody in 2019, Seasons of Friends, and then Amy Winehouse music videos. I don't know, let's give this a go. Not too shabby. They only won four Oscars? I was really hoping they were gonna win more. <laughs> okay, sort these movies by their opening weekend box office earnings from highest to lowest. Avengers Infinity War, Jurassic World, Star Wars The Last Jedi, Incredibles 2, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Infinity War, I'm gonna say, is the highest. Um, and then probably Star Wars The Force Awakens. Maybe Incredibles 2? Is that, would that have gotten more than Star Wars? Maybe, I mean, people were pretty excited about it. Um, and then Star Wars The Last Jedi and then Jurassic World. I didn't see Jurassic World, so it's at the bottom. I'm, I'm not sure about Jurassic World. This one is as much of a guess as the last question was. Okay, so I got two. <laughs> I really had no faith in Jurassic World and I had too much faith in The Incredibles 2. All right, I loved The Incredibles 2. <laughs> okay, so now we're up to the special personalized Katie Diaries questions. This was written by my mum, so shout out to you. Thanks, mum. <laughs> sort these fun events of your life by the year that they happened, from earliest to latest. A ballet concert debut, first school camp, going to Melbourne to see Wicked for the first time, got my first Bratz doll, joined YouTube. I think I can do this. So the ballet concert, a tragic memory is definitely the earliest. I was about five years old. And then first school camp, I was in year th three, but I think I actually got the Bratz doll before that. So yellow, 
green, pink, and then I joined YouTube, and then I saw Wicked. Okay, so what we're going with, let's see how much I know about my own life. Nice, very impressive. Amazing, love that for me. Sort these things from one second a day, 2017, 2018, by how many times they feature? That's an impressive question. I don't think I'm gonna get this right. From most to least, dressed as a princess, books, pizza, flat tire, shopping. Flat tire is only once, so that's gonna be at the bottom. There's definitely a lot of pizza. I think that's actually gonna be first. Dressed as a princess is probably second. Shopping is fourth and books is third. I don't know, but we're gonna see. Shopping was first? I guarantee I had a lot more pizza than I probably showed then. Well, I got one right about my own year. <laughs> Sort these Katie Diaries videos by when you first posted them from earliest to latest. Um, recreating iconic playbill covers. I finally watched 21 Chump Street, well, that's pretty recent. Beetlejuice in Everyday Situations. Is Glinda the real villain? More musical conspiracy theories and Wicked in Everyday Situations. Wait, I was just saying this so confidently and now I realize I actually don't fully know. Well, mm. <laughs> the latest one is 21 Chump Street, I guess. Beetlejuice, then I'm gonna say the playbill. And I can't remember which one came first out of Wicked or the Glinda conspiracy. I'm trying to guess by the length that my hair was when I filmed it. Wicked was first and then Glinda. No, the conspiracy was the earliest one and then Wicked. So this is what I'm gonna go with. Ah! Oh! No, I had it in the right spot. I had it so close and then I moved it at the last minute. Sort these Katie Diaries videos by how many there are. From most to least, the struggles of a musical theater fan, different musicals used in videos titled Everyday Situations, official music videos or Hamilton in Everyday Situations videos or being an adult. Hamilton in Everyday Situations is definitely at the top there. Wait, no, hang on, sorry. The everyday situations in general is at the top. And then it would be Hamilton and everyday situations. And then official music videos, struggles of a musical theatre fan, and then being an adult. Okay, this is my final answer. I'm locking it in. I got none. I got zero. I was so confident in that. It was so quick. I was like, it's gonna be easy peasy. I'm gonna get 100%. I got zero. Sort these Katy Diaries videos by their length from longest to shortest. The Hamilton book ASMR plus giveaway. Hamilton and Elf of a Kiss Broadway Sims part two. Turning Broadway characters into Visco and E-Girls. Six the musical in everyday situations and acting out Broadway shows. Hamilton the Sims video I think is gonna be the longest. And then acting out Broadway shows. And then the Visco girl one. Hamilton book giveaway. <laughs> and then six the musical. This is my final answer. I'm locking this in. How have I gotten worse at this? How am I getting worse? <laughs> Do I, have I watched my own videos? I got one in this, I mean, I got, at least I got one. But I got one, you know? The lucky last question. It's been a journey, folks. Sort these party themes by the year that you had them. So this is a personal question about my own birthday parties. From the earliest to the latest, my Wizard of Oz party, Pretty in Pink party, One Direction party, you know it. The end of term, come as someone with the letter of your name party, and a Hawaiian party. My Pretty in Pink party was when I was six, I think, so that's gonna be first. Wizard of Oz party was when I was 21, so that's the end. Was my Hawaiian party before One Direction? Yeah, it was. And then One Direction party, and then the end of term party. Final answer. This is the final, final question. Please let me get it right. And what a way to end it, folks. 100%. <laughs> Let's pretend that that's how it was the whole time. Well, that was very fun. I wanna say thank you to my mom and dad for making me those questions. It was so much fun. And honestly, I've played this game before, but none of the questions that are from the game have come up. So all of them were completely new for me. I got a few questions last time I talked about the game about where you could buy it and whether it's sold internationally. Yes, it does. I will put a link in the description. Um, it's sold in Australia, the UK and the US. So if you wanna get one, absolutely go for it. Now is the time to be playing games. Once again, this is not sponsored, but obviously my parents made the game, so I want to support them however I can. Also, if you would like to try and go through the questions that I have gone through today, I will put a link to that in the description below so you can follow along with that too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.